Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Categories in Joomla. In this tutorial, we will learn about Category Manager in Joomla, Creating and Editing Categories, and Creating Subcategories. We will also learn how to assign articles to categories, move or copy articles to a different category, and delete or unpublish a category. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS 14.04, Joomla 3.4.1, Apache, MySQL, and PHP obtained through XAMPP 5.5.19. Learner of this tutorial should know how to create an article in Joomla. If not, please refer to the relevant Joomla tutorials on the Spoken Tutorial website. Let's switch to the Joomla control panel. Click on Article Manager in the left menu. We currently have two articles, Vitamin A and Benefits of Sodium. In order to understand categories in Joomla, let's create a few more articles. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Open the assignment text file provided with this tutorial. Follow the instructions to create four new articles, Vitamin B, Benefits of Nutrients, fish, and green vegetables. We now have six articles in Article Manager. Vitamin A, Vitamin B, Benefits of Sodium, Benefits of Nutrients, fish, and green vegetables. The two articles on vitamins are similar in content. So, we should group them together. Categories in Joomla help to organize the articles in a logical order. Click on Categories in the left menu. Alternately, click on Content menu at the top and then on Category Manager. Notice that the Category Manager has a similar layout as that of the Article Manager. It has a search box and the Search Tools button to filter the categories. By default, we have one category called Uncategorized. Recollect that all our articles appeared as uncategorized. To create a new category, Click on the New button on the top left. The only mandatory field to create a category is the category title. I'll write Vitamin as the title in the title text box. Click on Save and Close. You can see that the new category has now been created. To edit or rename a category, click on the title of the category. I'll rename the title to Vitamins. This time, let's click on Save and New button. We are prompted to add a new category. Let's type Minerals as the title. Then, click on Save and Close. Now, Minerals and Vitamins are nutrients that our bodies need. Let us put them in a broader category, Nutrients. Click on New and type Nutrients as the title. Then, click on Save and Close. Let us put vitamins and minerals under the category Nutrients. A category under another category is called Subcategory. Select the two categories by clicking the checkbox to the left of the status column. We can batch process these two categories. Batch processing means working on things in groups. Click on Batch button in the toolbar at top. A new window with the title Batch Process the Selected Categories opens. It has many options. For now, we are only going to change the parent category of these categories. So select Nutrients in the Select category for Move or Copy drop-down. There are two radio buttons below the drop-down, namely Copy and Move. Copy will make a copy of the selected categories in the selected category. Move will move the category from the previous category to the selected category. Let's select Move and then click on Process. Notice a hyphen in front of the Vitamins and Minerals categories. This indicates that they are subcategories of the main category, Nutrients. Pause the tutorial here and do this assignment. Create a new category, Carbohydrates. Click on Parent drop-down on the right and select Nutrients. Click on Save and Close. Notice that this is another way to assign categories and subcategories to a parent category. 
Now we have a category tree. There are two main categories, uncategorized and nutrients. Under nutrients, we have three subcategories, vitamins, minerals and carbohydrates. Now let us learn how to organize various articles under different categories. From category manager, click on articles in the left menu. Select the two vitamin articles by clicking the checkbox to the left of the status column. Click on Batch button in the toolbar on top. A new window with the title Batch Process the Selected Articles opens. Select Vitamins in the Select category for Move Copy drop down. Let's select Move and then click on Process button. Notice that the category for articles Vitamin A and Vitamin B has changed. Let us change the category of Benefits of Sodium to Minerals. Click on the title Benefits of Sodium. In the category drop down on the right, select Minerals and then click on Save and Close. Note that the category of Benefits of Sodium has been changed to Minerals. Pause the tutorial here and do this assignment. Click on Benefits of Nutrients article. Change the category to Nutrients. Click on Save and Close. Now it's time to check all these changes on the Digital India web page. Before that, ensure that Show category is set to Show for the articles. Click on Options button in the toolbar at the top right corner. Set Show category to Show and Link category to Yes. Click on Save and Close. Now click on the Digital India link at the top right. Notice that the articles have different category names in their header. Click on the category Nutrients in the article header of Benefits of Nutrients. Observe that it lists one article and two subcategories, Vitamins and Minerals. This is how we had organized the categories. Note that the category Carbohydrates is not visible here. A category having neither articles nor subcategories is an empty category and hence it is not visible on the web page. Can we relax this restriction? Let us see how to change the settings to get the empty categories displayed. Switch to the article manager web page. Click on the categories in the left menu to go to the category manager. Click on the options button in the toolbar on right. Note that the category manager options page is same as article manager options. Even the title says article manager options. There are tabs in this page to control the settings of articles, categories, menus, etc. Click on the tab category. The tab will show the settings of a page which shows all articles under a particular category. Scroll down to see the option empty categories. Set this as show. Click on Save and Close. Switch to the Digital India web page and refresh it. Look, the Carbohydrate subcategory is now visible. Go back to the Category Manager web page. The subcategory Carbohydrates does not have any articles under it. We can either unpublish it or delete it. Let's understand the difference between the two options. When we unpublish a category, no new article can be assigned to that category. All its subcategories are automatically unpublished. And articles under the category are no longer visible on the website, even if they are published. When we delete a category, it is moved to trash along with all the articles under it. A deleted category can be restored again or the same could be trashed permanently. Come back to the Category Manager web page. Since we are not using the category Carbohydrates, let's unpublish it for now. Locate the category Carbohydrates from the Categories Manager page. Now select it by clicking the checkbox to the left of the status column. Click on the Unpublish button in the toolbar on top. Immediately, a success message appears. 
observe that the status of the category carbohydrates has changed to unpublished. Let us go back to the Digital India webpage and verify this. Switch to the Digital India webpage and refresh it. Notice that the category carbohydrates is no longer visible. This is because it has been unpublished. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt about Category Manager in Joomla, Creating and Editing Categories, and Creating Subcategories. We also learnt how to assign articles to categories, move or copy articles to a different category, and delete or unpublish a category. Here is an assignment for you. Create a new category, Food Sources. Create two subcategories, Veg Sources and Non-Veg Sources under the category Food Sources. Assign the article Fish to Non-Veg Sources. Assign the article Green Vegetables to Veg Sources. Refresh the home page. Observe the changes and understand what has happened. Delete the category Veg Sources. Try to restore it back. Hint is to use the filter to see trash categories. Edit the category Vitamins to add a description. Change the settings to show the description and number of articles in a category. Refresh the home page. Observe the changes and understand what has happened. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This is Priyanka signing off. Thank you for joining.